This is a 1948 Ford uh, Business Coupe. It's had a uh, S10 chassis put underneath it. And it's kind of a moonshine style moonshine runner. sounding engine this is a really cool kind of a this would make a great kind of a rat rod or moonshine style like I said we kind of call it like a moonshine style uh, car somebody put some lashes on the side here like Jeep latches I guess the factory latch is not working the engine runs great, there's no uh, exhaust leaks or anything like that. Power steering, maybe it's not power brakes. I felt, it felt like power brakes, but I guess there's no power booster on there, so I guess it's just got new ma ma uh, manual brakes. Um, but uh, it stops super easy. So I thought it was power brakes. It's got a huge master cylinder, especially compared to uh, especially compared to what it would be if it was factory. Uh, exhaust sounds awesome. And it just looks like somebody, you know, is somebody put, like I said, somebody did the expensive work, I think. They put the S10 frame underneath it. Uh, the, this body's all steel. It's got pr pr pretty, I would say, minimal rust. It's not a rust rust bucket, that's for sure. It's got a few rusty spots. I'll walk around it and I'll show you. Um, but I, I think these things are really cool. Obviously, somebody put a rattle can spray paint job on here. Um, it really doesn't look that bad, but it doesn't look that awesome either. I mean, I could personally, I could do a better job with a spray paint can and make it look almost like a real one. But if it was me, I'd, I'd sand it down and probably shoot it with another black primer or satin black, you know, and do a real, you know, or uh, um, um, hot rods colors or something like that. Those are really nice. Um, you know, some good, really good products out there that you can use to make it consistent and put a real seriously, you know, nice looking satin paint job on it. But um, it's totally driver and pretty, and you know, mechanically is really where this car is at. Mechanically dependable on the fact that it's a 38 and it's got the little window in the back that's huge. This is the glass in the front, it's in good shape. Looks like the weather stripping is new. Uh, the glass on the sides are cracked uh, on the uh, uh, driver and passenger uh, windows, I believe, are both cracked. Yeah, that one's cracked. They both roll up and down very easily, though. It's got bucket seats on in the inside. And then it's got the little, you know, piece in the back. This is an old business coupe, so it doesn't have a back seat to it. I don't know if somebody built that up or what. There's no headliner in here. Look really good if it was at least sanded down and repainted. Or just had a new headliner put in. You can see the old headliner glue from the old headliner. Um, somebody put probably a chrome style spray paint, you know, uh, job on the dash. Uh, looks like they... Uh, you know, put some newer uh, gauges in the dash. I'm not personally, you know, personally super crazy about it, but, um, but you know, it is what it is. Looks like there was a stereo in it. Somebody took out. There's some speakers in there and some speaker wires hanging down.
It's got a fuel tank probably out of that, the uh, S10 or the donor vehicle um, that they've just put here in the trunk. If it was me, I'd put the fuel tank back underneath the car like original. Um, I'm not that crazy about that, but a little bit of rust here in the back of the, uh, the there you go, you can see, got some rust back in the back of the um, deck lid. But like I said, this is not a rust bucket. This this is no this is no car that had a tree growing up out of it or anything like that. I mean, overall, it's pretty straight, and especially for what it is right now, kind of a moonshine runner, hot rat rod, hot rod kind of a car. It's awesome, and dude, a uh, classic car like this for under ten grand is awesome. So, like I said, I think they cut the springs a little too short here, and you can just feel it. The car sits really low to the ground. It's almost like a low rider. I think if the springs were done right in the front, you would have a little bit better ride. And like I said, I drove it home for an hour and you kind of just, you know, it cruises really good and you kind of get used to that fact that it's, you know, it's still got kind of an old car feel to it. So obviously the, the frame rails are gonna in good shape, but the, look, obviously the frame rails are gonna be in good shape because, you know, they're new uh, an S10. But this is all solid down here. At some point it looks like somebody painted the floor pans. Maybe even possibly put new floor pans in, I'm not sure. Seem to be pretty rust free though. Underneath. I know you got some spots of rust back here. But nothing major, like I said. Actually, the underneath in the floor pan area of this car. No, that looks to be original, and it looks like it's in really good shape. Man, somebody at some point had this thing off the frame and painted underneath it. Or maybe not off the frame. I don't know. Maybe they just spray painted. Who knows? But Brand new exhaust. Flowmasters. Looks like. Take a quick look. Yeah, those are real Flowmasters. And to be honest, I don't know. I have I don't know a lot about these, and I don't like to make up stories and stuff. So I can't tell you for sure if those are the original floor pans or not. I'm just trying to be real about how it looks. I do know the bottoms of the doors have some rust in them or rusted out, and that's a place where people ask a lot of questions about. So here's the bottom of the door. Both of them look about the same. The other side looks exactly the same as this. The doors open and close like they're supposed to. Of course, they, it looks like this, these are the original handles and the springs worn out on them, so they're hanging. Um, looks like brand new tires on uh, Baby Moons. It looked to be a little bigger in the back. Than the eights in the back, sevens in the front, probably is what I'd speculate. And uh, anyway, so here you have it. Um, really cool. Definitely, it's definitely driver ready right now. Um, and uh, I really, I, I enjoyed driving home. It was cool. But man, what a cool look and really desirable right now. So I think somebody's gonna have a lot of fun with this car.